So I had a dream last night that I was in Walking Dead and at the end of my dream I'm pretty sure my arm got bitten and then I woke up with an extremely sore arm so I don't know if that means anything. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video on products that I regret buying because let's face it we all buy products and once we get home and start using them expecting them to be amazing and great we are a bit let down sometimes and we just look at the product and go why? Why did you do this? Why did you make me buy it and why are you so crap? So I'm just going to show you the products that I regret buying and tell you a bit why I regret them so let's get straight on into it. The first product that I regret buying it's actually a two set I bought two of the same product thinking that it was going to be amazing because there are a lot of Aussie beauty youtubers out there who have promoted the crap out of this product saying it's so amazing it's a miracle worker blah blah yada yada and it is the Chi Chi eye palettes I bought the one in rich gems as well as classics and if you look you can kind of see that I haven't really even used them that much I have had these for about six months and I have you know, tried to go back to them and tried to give them a go. I just found that these were not blendable whatsoever. They weren't very pigmented, like I would put them on my skin, it would apply to some areas and then it'd just be patchy and spotty and everywhere else and it was just ugh. And the colour itself I didn't find was that attractive. Like all of the colours you see here, I didn't find that they'd come off exactly like that on my face. So I regret buying these two products and it is $50 worth of product going down the drain. The next product that I regret buying is another one which beauty gurus have labelled it as just amazing. It's an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. It's $3 from Kmart so it's very basic and very very cheap. So I gave it a go and I found it was just so tacky. It didn't apply to my skin. Just like the eyeshadow from Chi Chi I felt it was very patchy and it went on nicely in some areas but in the end I just felt like I kind of had a liquidy tar that I had applied to myself. I regret that one. The next two products I regret buying is from a brand named Astralis. It is the Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream. Now, everyone I have spoken to has said these ones are amazing. I paid $9.95 for each of them so I was expecting great things from them and I chose some really nice colours as well, like I really do like the colours. but. Once again, huge disappointment. Once I put these onto my lips, they are so drying, like, oh, it's just unbearable drying. I don't have very dry lips to begin with. I have actually very soft lips that I look after. And once I applied either of these products, it just instantly dried out my skin. And it just, I don't know, it started cracking and just peeling off in sections. I'll actually apply this one and show you what I mean. <laughs> And another problem that I have with this stupid product, I can't even wipe it off. So it's literally peeled off, but I can't even wipe the rest of the product off. So if I was out in public and I didn't realise that this product had a fault like this, I would literally be scrubbing at my lips now and it would not be coming off and I would be stuck looking like, I don't know, I applied paint or something to my lip because that's what it looks like. It looks like I have cracked paint coming off of my lips right now and I can't get it off. Well, that struggle was real so I'm never buying that product again because I can't get it off and two, because it doesn't stay on my lips and then it leaves the residue which I can't get off. Ugh. <laughs> Um, the next product that I regret buying is a foundation and it is one that I know a lot of people actually really do love but I don't like it whatsoever. It's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I found that this one was very very yellow and I did get the right colour for my skin. It is one of the lighter ones and I don't know I just felt it didn't stick to my skin in areas like basically on my forehead and on my nose around here it would just it would never even actually stick to that area to begin with like I would apply it to my nose and then I would take my makeup brush off and see that the product just hasn't even gone there at all and I don't know if it's got to do with my skin type but I'm not actually very oily on my nose or on my t-zone at all and that is where this product wouldn't stick so I just don't know like I've given it a few shots and each and every time it's just never gone for my face and I don't really want a foundation that's not going to apply to my face because what's the point? <laughs> 
This next product that I'm going to show you, um, it is a hairspray by L'Oreal. It is a massive hairspray. I think I paid about $15 for it and I am a big fan of L'Oreal hair care products. Like they've always worked for me in the past. But this one here, um, I've just found every time I've used it, it has left a little white patchy area over my hair. So it's kind of looking like it's given me dandruff, but it's the product literally drying up into areas of balls or something. And I don't know, like dandruff is a naturally occurring thing, but I'm not a big fan of a product that gives me artificial dandruff. So I even broke it after using it the first time. Like there's meant to be this other extra handle at the top here. And I literally used it once with one pump and that thing broke off. So maybe it might not have been a handle. It might've just been something that breaks off, but that doesn't sound right. <laughs> this next product that I'm going to show you, it's not really like a popular one at all. It was literally just a body perfume that I bought from my handbag or whatnot. So when I feel like I need a bit of a freshen up, I would just spray this on myself. It's so sinful. And I don't know, I just, I smelt it in the shop and I smelt the body spray of it. Like I didn't spray the I think this is the Eau de Toilette or something. Yeah, Eau de Toilette, what, you know, this weakest perfume you can get. And that body spray smelled, you know, fine, whatever. And I kind of thought this would smell similar, but... Oh my god, it's... <laughs> wow. <coughs> I think I swallowed some. Um, this is disgusting. It's very... I would, like, compare it to... <coughs> cleaning chemicals and toilet spray like I think I'm just gonna leave this in the toilet and make the toilet smell like that but it's just whoa it's not pleasant at all it's just it's disgusting um I would not want to be wearing this and walk past anyone or anyone to smell me and be like what's that because it would literally be a smell that people are like ugh, what is that not what is that that smells great it's oh my gosh who stinks and it would be me so I don't know, this is going in the toilet after this and it's probably never even going to be used in there. My final product that I regret buying isn't something that I actually regret buying because of the product, it's I regret buying it because of the price. I bought Frank a while ago now. Um, I don't regret this product at all with what it actually does, like it's great, but I regret the price of it. Like come on, $18 for some coffee scrub you can make at home for yourself for a fraction of the cost. Let's be real, you can get five times the amount if you make this at home by yourself, which is what I actually do now. I make my own body coffee scrub which is identical to Frank and I think I actually add a few extra essential oils to what they do and I literally paid I think roughly eight dollars and I made about six of these so compare that to one Frank which usually comes up to here you're just saving a lot of money and if you want to know how you can make your own Frank I do have a recipe per se on my blog and I'll link you down below so you can learn to make your own of it for a fraction of the cost because Frank is ridiculously overpriced. So that is all of my products that I regret buying. I am sure there is going to be a lot more to come in the future, but I hope not. Um, if you've got any of these products and you actually love them or you hate them as well, let me know down below in the comments. And until next time, guys, goodbye. Hey guys, and welcome. Hey guys, I sound like Steve Irwin.